coming up on this episode of Free Lunch. Like, and it's a way of like showing just care and consideration for them. I have the same worry and fears and doubt sometimes as my wife. The thing is, is I just don't want my wife to have her fears heightened by seeing me fearful on fire, like the car on fire for real, for real. Get it to getting a little deeper and transparent. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Freestyle Gospel, a.k.a. The Real Free, with another G14 Classified subscriber-only episode of Free Lunch. Uh, these are the episodes where, um, you know, my, my hope is to stay committed to getting a little deeper and transparent um, and just kind of in touch with you guys on an individual level without any of the guests, but just me and just different things that uh, God has taken me through, you know, from day to day, you know, on this entrepreneur, creative content, you know, uh, influencer slash actor, all this, you know, all the other dope stuff that I get to do. Um, so I thank you guys for rocking with me. Uh, wow. So this won't be a long episode. Um, uh, I gotta, you know, leave the studio soon and like, you know, give the car back to the wife. Speaking of cars, you know what I mean? Um, you know, we got one of the, we had one of those Hyundai specials going around the country, man, where everybody's just like using some USB cable and like breaking into everybody's cars. But so twice in 30 days, uh, we had our car um, broken into and stolen. And this second time, man, this last time it was uh, found by the police on fire. So like on fire, like the car on fire for real, for real. So, um, <clears throat> I just wanted to, uh, you know, kind of just like, you know, these these intimate, you know, more episodes, they don't really have like a a, a planner or schedule, you know what I mean, a, you know, topical points, but just really just speaking from the heart, you know, kind of how they say shooting from the hip, you know, if you will. Um, So, you know, just what I've really been feeling this like past week is really like a kind of just jumbled up collection of feelings. Um, obviously, you know, feeling tested with the whole car situation because, you know, me and my wife, we only share one car. Um, we're a family, uh, a blended family, but like, so in total, we're a family of seven, you know what I mean, when all the kids are home. Uh, but in the household, like, you know, right now with us, you know, we're a family of five still, so you know, we really need a vehicle, you know, so having the car rental finally from the insurance company is great. Uh, but all this week, man, just being like, you know, the man that I am, you know, being a provider, being the, you know, head of the home, you know, being a leader, you know, trying to be at least the best I can. Um, you know, when times like this come, you know, you, you want to be your best, you know, to be like, faithful and you know no god is going to take care of everything um and i think as men a lot of times you know we feel just as you know our wives you know it's, it's especially for you know husbands you know i would say at least like me um we could feel a lot of that vulnerability and like you know fear and worry and doubt you know just like everybody else in the home um, but we, we do our best to save face, you know, like in front of the kids, in front of the wife, you know, so we could, you know, some, some men do it because like an ego trip thing, like they've been raised to, you know, you feel like, you know, it's not manly to have emotions or stuff like that. Crazy, you know, thank God, you know, I don't fall in that bracket, but there's another, you know, select few of men like myself, you know, husbands who, you know, I have the same worry and fears and doubt sometimes as my wife. Um, and the thing is, is I just don't want my wife to have her fears heightened by seeing me fearful, if if that makes sense. You know, so when I'm, oh, excuse me, sorry about that, y'all. So when I'm having, 
uh, put my phone on vibrate. So when I'm having uh, my my moments of like fear, worry, doubt, whatever, I'm not showing it, not because of like out of ego or, you know, something like that, but because I'm doing my best in that moment or that time for whatever that circumstance is to give my wife the best shot, the best chance at maintaining whatever little bit of peace and hope she can, right? So I don't want my fear and worries and doubt exacerbating hers, her own, you know? But I know for, for my wife, you know, at least, and, you know, maybe otherwise out there listening, maybe this is true for you. When you don't see your husband showing that emotion, you think, oh, they just, you know, they don't understand or look, he not even, he don't even care. You know, I, I hear that a lot. You're like, Oh yeah, you, you must not even care. You're, you clearly don't look like you're upset or you're worried or, and it's not that, you know, I, we, we face that a lot, a lot. I believe a lot of men face that. I know I could just speak for me for sure. Face that. Um, in that moment, if I don't got an answer or a solution to fix the problem that's in front of us, I just feel the best thing as an alternative I, I got then is let me not make it worse. Let me not make the emotions like worse. Not, not, not the problem when, you know, that you're facing per se, but let me not make the challenge of us trying to remain faithful that God going to work it out or remain hopeful or positive. At least let me not ruin that those odds by me adding to the environment emotions or feelings or even the the our appearance our facial you know expression by looking like i'm afraid looking worried looking doubtful so that's been what like this past week man it's just been filled with those kind of emotions but then also simultaneously like has been filled with like the like blessings and so that creates like this clashing like you know kind of effect it's like on one hand like you know like the enemy coming for me the devil just trying to ruin my day and then on the other hand it's like you see god just being faithful after faithful like just opening doors man i done had like some really really dope you know um bookings come through you know uh whether it's been like for voiceovers you know just getting another check coming through the mail for um you know the last movie uh role that i did uh, so it's like happening at the same time as I'm dealing with all this stuff with the car, we ain't got no vehicles. So and now we got to work for it, worry about how we're going to get the money up to buy a new vehicle when the insurance company finishes, you know, totaling out this car and all that. And then it's like all these dope things are happening too. So that's been like the really thing sustaining me, you know, and just really keeping me this whole time this week has just been like, yo, like, we gonna be okay. Like, God got it. You know what I mean? And it's okay to have, like, that worry or, you know, very human emotions. I always tell people, it's not okay to stay there, though. Like, it's not okay to let that, to, like, meditate on that that emotion. So, the arisal, the, the presentation of that emotion is very normal, very natural, right? Very human-like. Uh, but what we then do with it when it shows up, that's that's up to us, you know. That's our decision to make if we let that rock out, you know, and stay and remain. So, um, you know, this week has also like just helped me, show me just again the fruits of being communicative, you know, very articulate and just keeping maintaining communication with my wife because, you know, there's the like, you know, entrepreneur, you know, business side to things that, you know, I'm doing, you know, so I'm making moves, doing that. And, you know, that's, this is what I do full time. So, but she doesn't see that, you know what I mean? Like we're, you know, she has her regular nine to five job. And from what she could just see, you know, her, her income isn't going to be able to, you know, pay, you know, whatever the bills is that she pays. And, uh, you know, somehow how we going to get another vehicle, rental car, all this stuff. And then she doesn't really know what's happening in my world with my business finances on that side. So that can only, the, the, the lack of knowledge, right? When we don't communicate only gives way to fear and anxiety. So 
what I what I learned this week and went to subsequently implement is, you know, what it dawned on me. I'm like, there's like a lot that goes on in my business because it's just me running my business, right? Like it's, you know, I don't think to ever even like share with my wife as far as like, you know, business prospects or things that are to come or happening in the background until it kind of manifests, right? And then she sees it, of course. Um, so, you know, I took a... a a really, you know, major step this week and was like, you know, I wanted to be committed to, you know, my business finances, you know, being very transparent and visible to my wife, you know, so I went, you know, beside her and I was like, listen, you know, in the acting field, anybody that's in like, you know, acting or as a, you know, content creator or whatever, you know, like, it's not like a nine to five, like, you know, the income isn't like every single, you know, week, you know, you get paid on this week and you could, bank on what your next check next check is going to be you know it's, it's spotty you know at times so you know what I wanted to show her is that like look you know so far you know this year or for the month like we're doing well I got you know this amount of clients or these kind of clients pending these things are coming down the pipeline this should be well um and I think just offering my wife the opportunity to be in the know like you know, allowing my finances on my end to just be more visible to her, even though it's not like, you know, I wasn't able to show her a checkbook or a balance, you know, in a checking account to go, look, we got enough to go buy us a new car, you know, and, and replace the one that got stolen. No, I wasn't able to do that. But I think by just daring to be a, a, you know, slightly more transparent with the state of my, you know, creative content or entrepreneurial, you know, finances, you know, was able to add some kind of relief, even if it's just like a little bit. Uh, and again, I think it also is like, you know, it, it, it helps drop another like seed in that bucket of just like another form of intimacy, right? Like that's, that's like a whole nother podcast, I'm sure. But like, just, you know, I think it, 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 it helps you relay the message to the other person in the relationship that you see them. Like, and it's a way of like showing just, care and consideration for them I think by the like you know by traveling down that that path of more transparency and openness and just like articulation communication um you know so that's been really really dope man this week and so I'm like hopeful I'm looking forward to like what God is going to continue to do because even as of today um you know the the whole stairwell, so to speak, has not been seen or made clear. You know, I don't know how, you know, the finances are all going to come together and uh, we're going to get into another vehicle. Um, but I'm believing God, man. I'm staying faithful and uh, staying transparent, staying faithful and transparent. You know, I think that's the, the word for today, man. So um, I hope that, you know, this has been able to be a blessing. Um Make sure you guys are locked in and subscribe for season four, man. We got a couple dope sponsors this season. Dr. Doby and Rollins, orthodontist. Uh, I think y'all can really see that. Yeah. Um, orthodontist over here in Connecticut. Uh, and then we got the fam over here, daddybutter.com. Make sure y'all go hit up daddybutter.com, man. And uh, stay tuned. Keep it locked. Peace.